assalamu alaikum today is our uh, lab lectures because for the theoretical we already completed our course and from now onward uh, today tomorrow and next week we will only do the labs so first of all today I will tell you nearly about uh, what's the syllabus for your final if you visit your LMS system there I make a separate tab for final syllabus exam syllabus and here is your BSCS first A so for uh, you, there will be theory and lab uh, for theory you need to prepare these weeks week 7 8 12 13 14 15 16 and week 17 whatever there is in these weeks for example i open week 7 so there are two lectures audio uh, video and this you have to prepare all these and same like in week 8 whatever is inside week 8 week 11 12 so you have to prepare all the week lectures which are mentioned here now come to the lab lab from 1 to 8 you have to prepare and for lab maybe it will be if it will be a written exam for the lab then there will be only two questions and those will be uh, if HOD asks for the viva then it will be face to face viva but if it will be not be viva then it will be a subjective paper so when or where I, I will take the lab paper this I will tell you later but for the syllabus you can start preparing for the labs from 1 to 3 labs are already here you can see with week 2 we did one lab with week uh, 4 we did second lab with week 5 we did third lab and today we will do fourth and fifth lab and the remaining six seven eight lab we will do uh, tomorrow and to the coming week for the objective you will be having mcqs and true false and for the subjective you will be having short questions and long questions these are for the theory part but for the lab part uh, i will tell you later that um, uh, what will be there maybe objective maybe subjective or the viva but you should start preparing for that lab because there will be lab paper or viva so let's start today's lab today's lab will be uh, fourth and fifth lab okay these labs are the uh, fourth lab is specially the same which we did uh, by mistake i think it's written for here it is this one is your fifth lab and how many labs we have completed we have already completed three labs and yeah so today we are doing our fifth and sixth lab fourth lab i think i missed this we will maybe we will do tomorrow or next week so let's start fifth or sixth lab so these labs are the same thing which we already did in our college This is the use of the micrometer screw guard. So what you have to prepare in this, I will tell you because uh, I prepare this manual and in this manual, I told about the screw guard, its principle working, its construction in different part and then the least count because in screw gauge and vernier caliper the most important thing is the least count and the zero error so i told about the zero error and negative positive then the use of the screw gauge how we use it how we measure the dimensions inner or for the depth 
and in the final i give you an assignment this is the same assignment uh, okay i didn't give you that assignment this is the first assignment home assignment for you dscs uh, you no need to submit this assignment but you have to write there like in practical copies you did you have to do it yourself and keep it to yourself if there is a viva then i will ask you to bring this with you if there is a, a written exam then it's okay you can keep it with you but this question can come in your lab exam that will be write down the industrial applications of screw god and if the question is of two marks then you only give the names of the appli uh, uh, applications where the screw god is used if the question number is of five marks then you have to give uh, maybe two or three lines for each application so you have to do this by yourself and keep it to you when i will ask you then you can submit to me okay in uh, second video we will let's start for the what we will do in the lab